Hello friends, I am Prachi from Topper Learning. Today we are going to study a very important chapter from chemistry that is acids, bases and salts. It carries approximately 11 marks that means almost 12% of the total marks allotted to the subject science. This chapter is important not only in this exam point of view but also for the future study in chemistry. Hence the importance. Let us take a journey together in the world of acids, bases and salts. Today we will cover two topics namely first introduction and the second chemical properties of acids, bases and salts. In the first part we will understand basic concept of acids, bases and salts. Let us quickly go through the points to be covered today. First is classification of compounds. The second is everyday life examples of acids, bases and salts. Next, what are indicators? Then, common indicators, olfactory indicators, what acids have in common, what bases have in common, importance of aqueous medium for acidic and basic properties, concentrated and dilute acids and bases and the last is precautions while diluting acids and bases. Now let us start with it. We all know what elements are. There are total 118 elements in our periodic table. These elements combine with each other in variety of combinations and in different proportions to form thousands of compounds. All these compounds can be broadly classified as acids, bases and neutral compounds such as salts. We will be studying them in detail in this chapter. Now let us see where we come across acids in our daily lives. We generally take some common ingredients such as lemon, tamarind, curd or vinegar in our food. You must have tested them. How do you feel on your tongue when you test tamarind or any one of them? Khatta or sour test. All of them have this common test that is sour test. Why do all these ingredients have sour test? It is because all these ingredients contain acids. Tamarind contains tartaric acids, lemon and other fruits from citrus family such as oranges and grapes contain citric acid. Curd contains lactic acid. Vinegar which is mainly used in pickling contains mild organic acid that is acetic acid. Even carbonated cold drinks also contain acid as carbon dioxide gas is dissolved in it. It combines with water to form carbonic acid. Coffee a very favorite beverage also contains acid. These are just a few examples of everyday acids. Do you know our human body also contains acids? Our stomach contains gastric juices in which one of the major constituent is 0.1 normal axial. It aids in our digestion process. Let me explain. It helps in the breakdown of complex biomolecules such as proteins present in eaten food into simpler easily digestible molecules. Now do you know why a bee sting pens? It's because the venom from bee contains formic or methanoic acid which is a major pain causing constituent. Even red ants venom is acidic. Thus different body parts of animals also contain acids. Now let us move on to see everyday examples of bases. I am sure we all love cakes. They are so yummy. Of course they are very tasty but we also like them for their softness and spongy texture. Have you ever wondered 
why they are so soft and spongy what is the reason behind the sponginess yes that's right it is because in cakes we add baking powder that is sodium bicarbonate which is a base it reacts with acidic compound present in the cake and releases carbon dioxide gas hence the cake becomes so spongy so baking powder is an example of a base now let us see another example you must be aware of the swachh bharat abhiyan campaign started by the government washing our hands using soap before having food is one of the point highlighted in this ad so how do you feel when you apply soap on your palms yes that's right it tends to slip out of the hand why do we get that slippery feel well soaps contain bases such as sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide which are slippery to touch therefore we get a slippery feel when we wash our hands with soap let us see some more examples we all use toothpaste when we brush our teeth right it also contains mild base to remove acid form in the mouth due to degradation of sugar food particles let us look at the medical application of bases in our life continuous late night sleep or overeating tends to develop acidity in many people so we take antacids to relieve our acidity antacids contain bases such as magnesium hydroxide or aluminum hydroxide thus these are just a few everyday base containing examples do you know why a vast stink pens venom from wasp is basic or alkaline which is one of the major pain causing constituent we have seen now everyday examples of acids and bases let us now see where we can find salts now tell me what is that common ingredient needed in almost all cook food is common salt common salt is very important factor of our daily food it is neutral in nature common salt is chemically nacl but remember only nacl is not the only salt there are many other salts which we are going to study further rock salt is considered best among all salts for human body it is advised in daily food as per ayurveda bleaching powder is also called calcium chlorohypochlorite is a mixed salt of hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid now we have seen different everyday examples of acids bases and salts but how one can recognize whether any compound is acidic or basic or neutral in nature just by looking at it no indicators help us to know whether the compound is acidic or basic in nature by the change in color common indicators are litmus methyl orange and phenolphthalein now let us see effect of acid or base on these indicators one by one the first common indicator is litmus this is one of the oldest forms of ph indicator used to test materials for acidity litmus is a water soluble mixture of different dyes extracted from different species of lichens the litmus solution is often absorbed onto filter paper the color change is shown only in the presence of water as medium hence wet litmus paper can be used to check the acidity or basicity of dry gases such as chlorine gas hcl gas ammonia gas etc let us see the color change of litmus in acids and bases an acid turns blue litmus red and a base turns red litmus blue that means in salt 
what will be the color change there will be no color change or the litmus paper will show purple color in salt solution neutral litmus paper is purple litmus can also be prepared as an aqueous solution that functions similarly under acidic conditions the solution is red and under basic conditions the solution is blue chemical reactions other than acid base can also cause a color change to litmus paper for instance chlorine gas turns blue litmus paper white because the litmus dye is bleached because of the presence of hypochlorite ions this reaction is irreversible so the litmus is not acting as an indicator in this situation second common indicator is methyl orange methyl orange is an intensely colored compound used in dyeing and printing textiles chemists use methyl orange as an indicator in the titration of big bases with strong acids let us see the color change of methyl orange in acid and base methyl orange indicator gives red color in the acidic solution it gives yellow color in the basic solution the last common indicator is phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is an organic compound which is colorless it is a weak acid it remains colorless in acidic solution in basic solution phenolphthalein ions are formed which are pink in color hence phenolphthalein gives pink color in basic solution thus acidity and basicity can be checked with the help of these three common indicators do you know even onion can also act as an indicator but how let us perform an experiment we know that onion has pervasive and irritating odor take two cloth strips treated with onion treat one with anwr solution and another with hcl solution now check what happens to the smell of the onion the smell of the onion is not detected in the first case while it is not eliminated in the second case thus those substances whose odor changes in acidic or basic medium are called olfactory indicators examples of olfactory indicators are onion vanilla and clove oil we'll be back after a short break Thank you.